The steady stream of videos featuring extreme violence or casual sex is raising eyebrows. One of those expressing concern is maritime consultant Kubba Didier, who warns that if nothing is done to address this trend, our society may pay a high price in the long run. While we've always had violence, we've never had it to that level where it has become our daily diet to the population. Further, it is quickly becoming the national export. If we don't speak out, it can only get worse. And we should be concerned as to why it's happening and what's feeding it. Because it has social implications, it will have economic implications, and in the long run, it will impact on our lifestyle, whether we accept it now or not. Hardly a day goes by without a shocking video of some gruesome violence or pictures of some blood-soaked victim, dead or dying, making the rounds. Didier says we are gradually becoming numb to the brutality and suggests that this be tackled at the very root. If we continue to export that image, I, I can't see tourists wanting to come and have a holiday among people who bash their own heads or are happy having sex everywhere and videotaping it. So we need to put a stake in the ground. Is that a reflection of the society we are? If it is, then let's live with it. But if it's not, we need, and off the top of my head, I don't have the solutions, but one way to start walking towards solutions is to have dialogue and to have discussions like we're having. The social media circulated videos have led to the arrests of perpetrators who would have gone unpunished had their acts not been captured on tape. The videos are in some ways proving to be an emerging indispensable tool of police investigations. But those who are concerned fear that the very videoing of the violent and sexual acts may be fueling them in the first place and worry about the impact the daily diet of these videos is having on those who consume them and on society as a whole. Stanley Lucian for the HTS News Force.